The Schools of Augusta is hosting their annual Grade 4 Shark Tank. No, we're not dropping students in tanks with sharks, I promise. Rosie Pope is a former host of her own Bravo TV show, Pregnant in Hills, and is a maternity slash baby entrepreneur and is helping to set up the Shark Tank competition at the school. Good morning, Rosie. Good Hi. to see you again. Good to see Thanks you. For joining us. Now, this is a very interesting premise for fourth graders. Tell us about how the idea came to fruition. So about three years ago, um, they started it, and what they really wanted to do was teach young children about entrepreneurialism, how to start a company, um, just the whole cycle from thinking of a good idea, how to take it to something that really works in the real world. So the fourth graders started coming up with inventions, um, and this turned into a business idea, and then ultimately this concept of Shark Tank. Um, and they, they literally work in groups for about six months. They come up with a product that has to be viable. They each have a job, a CFO, accountant, marketer. They have to come up with ads, logos, the whole, the whole thing. Lord. And then tomorrow, they're going to pitch it to the sharks. It's, a, it's a, such an interesting way and a great application for like a modern reiteration of getting the kids out there as well. Now, you do actually have some Shark Tank judges that they're going to be in front of. Who, who are they? Yep, so we're bringing in people from the community. We have uh, John Dawkins, who's a local Chick-fil-A owner. Uh, myself, who I was an entrepreneur. We have some people coming in from the tech world and Gen Cyber. Uh, so this should be a good collection of people. Now, why is it important for students to face this kind of challenge? I think it's really important for kids to understand uh, what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it means to start your own business, but also some of those real world things, right? You can have a good idea, but if other people don't think it's a good idea, it's not going to work. Uh, to think about costs, how much a product really costs to make, to think about how to get it to the marketplace, uh, marketing, working together as a team. And that's the hardest thing, I think, for them, because they get put in these teams together and it might right. not be their best friend. Mm -hmm. So it teaches them some really great real world application. Um, and I just, I think it's a beautiful thing to watch them. And they actually come up with some great ideas. In the last few years, some of these ideas ended up being real businesses. True, okay, because yeah. uh, we're watching the video right uh -huh. now. And these, these kids are decked out, but they're oh, yeah. showing, they're, they're, they have like, literal, tangible, applicable pieces that they can use on this. What are some of the ideas that we've heard recently? So one of the ones this year that I particularly love is called Sweet Beep. So they came up with this concept that the car horn is really rude. And a lot of times you just want to have a little <laughs> toot toot and you want to let the person know it's a green light, whatever, you don't want to be rude. On your so left. they've invented a, a new beep. They've electrically wired it. They've stuck it on a car. Wow. And when you toot, it just goes beep beep. And, uh, you know, it's a polite way to get around. So. That one I particularly love. I, love I know that's like it's amazing, honestly, uh, that they can like come up with this in fourth grade. I'm I know sure exactly. It's very impressive. It, it also uh, gives me some confidence in the future. Now, are they are they putting like are the teachers part of this as well? Are they the mentors? Are they the helpers? Or are the parents more involved with this too? Actually, the parents are not involved. If you okay. involve your parent at all, you have to pay for it. So it becomes part of the investment because they need to understand that you can't just get things for free when you start a business. So generally speaking, the parents are not involved. Uh, the teachers help guide them. They bring in people from the community to help guide them. But it's all the kids. I ain't paying for the parents. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is that's real, that's so ingenious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like you're hiring an employee if you if you get your mom to exactly. Help you out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, what other events and activities are coming up at Westminster? So on Thursday at SRP Stadium, our varsity baseball team will be playing in their special varsity series. Uh, we'll be playing Augusta Prep, which is our longtime friendly rival. Uh, anybody can come out, have a great ball game. For 5:35 is the uh, first pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a super fun thing. Um, uh, what else have we got going on? We have SLU Week right now, which is Spiritual Life Emphasis Week, uh, and our kids are learning about apologetics, uh, about the resurrection, and how to defend Christianity in the modern world. So a lot of exciting things at Westminster. All right. And where can people go to get more information on Westminster, and especially the Shark Tank? Yes, and if anybody in the community wants to be a judge next year, let us know. Can people come and attend? They actually, they can't come in to attend this okay. year, but next year if they're interested, just shoot us an email. Um, WSA.net, okay. they can find my email address there. Um, also follow us at uh, WSA Wildcats on Instagram, and they can see all the latest and greatest. It's a whole new season of Shark Tank, people. It is. It's yeah. like you yeah. never thought you'd see before. <laughs> uh, Rosie, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. So what